I'm Andy, I'm known as Zephyrfish on HackerOne from Scotland. I've been doing bug bounties for just over a year and a half. Uh, I got started by finding a hole in a major porn site um, and contacted some people and they were like, they've got a, pro they've got a program in HackerOne, you should submit it, they might give you some money. And they did, it was good. Favourite bug that I've ever found? Uh, recently I found RCE on a website via Node.js, so submitting a template, I got a reverse shell back, which was great fun. Can't tell you the program, unfortunately. But I do, but I'd rather not disclose them. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, studied uh, digital security, forensics, and ethical hacking at university, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree from a UK university. Uh, a lot of my colleagues are my friends as well. I work with a close team of pen testers, and also a lot of the guys I've met through Hacker One through uh, Vegas has been good fun, putting na names to faces and faces to names. My highest payout so far is twelve thousand dollars. No, I can't disclose it. It wasn't on Hacker One, but it was a bug bounty payment. Uh, I use a variety of tools. Uh, Sublister is quite a good tool for brute forcing subdomains. Uh, I use record, I use Burp Suite for app testing. The usual like Nmap, Metasploit, basic things. Uh, I script in Bash. Uh, I'm old school, so I, I write write for what, one 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 liners. Yeah, and I have done it in the past. I've done hackathons for charities. I'm taking my work and doing it in my free time, so it's good fun. I do web app uh, testing mainly because my day job is web app testing and I enjoy just doing it. Do a wee bit of IoT and a bit of hardware as well, but mainly web app. I blog about some of them because I like writing. Uh, I love writing verbose reports because you read, you read Hacker One reports, you read Bug Crowd reports, you read lots of, lots of reports. Some are great, some are really verbose. Others are like, I found this, that's cool, but they don't give you any steps to reproduce it. They just go, this is, this is the effective URL. I believe in producing verbose reports so that the security team don't need to view a video or anything. They can go through the report step by step. They know exactly what to look for. They know exactly where, where to look for it and uh, they can fix it. So, so, so basically they're paying you for the remediation, same with pen testing. They're paying you for the advice, recommendations for fixing it more than they're paying for, wow, I pwned this. So good payouts, uh, good response time. The, w the one thing I hate about bug bounty is that if you submit a report after one month, two months, three months, six months, they don't reply. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's such a pain. And scope, the, the best, the best uh, programs are ones that have got the whole estate and scope because you can run subdomain brute force and you can scan everything and uh, you submit it and they go, oh, that's cool. We didn't know that existed. Or you found Windows 98 on the internet. That's awesome. That shouldn't be there, but that's awesome. I don't go out of scope mainly because of my background in pen testing, I'm used to sticking into a scope. So that's, that's the main reason. My favourite conference is B-Size Manchester in the UK. It's, it was my first security conference and I've been to it every single year. It's also the reason I'm now hired by the company I work for, because uh, I met them in the first year and they hired me this year, last year.